Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I'm the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick and easy tutorial on how I do the offset or the outline around my transparent PNG images. So those cute little hand lettered cut files and quotes that I put on my cups that have the nice little outline around them. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in just a few easy steps. We're gonna be using Inkscape software, that's free. So if you are a Cricut user, this is gonna be a great tool for you and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I've got Inkscape open. Um, Inkscape is a free software that anyone can download and it's a really, really valuable resource if you use Cricut software or if you, you, know, you have a Cricut cutter because um, you could do a lot in this software that you can't do in Cricut software. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for, uh, to File and then Open. Um, and select the image that you want to work with. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to do a basic thank you. This is like a hand-lettered cut file that I had purchased on Etsy, um, and this is the transparent PNG version of what they sent when I purchased it. So I'm just going to hit open. I'm going to have all these left the same. Just leave them as the default. All right, and so I've got the image open. I'm gonna select it, um, and I know it's selected because I got all these little arrows around it and a dotted line. And then I'm gonna go to Pass, Trace Bitmap. Okay, and when I go to Trace Bitmap, I'm gonna change the threshold number here at the top to 90. I'm gonna say Remove Background and hit OK. All right, and I can see that it made a little outline. Now that outline is now right around my image. So I'm just going to click out of that box and we're going to go to Pass, Outset. You can also hit Control plus parenthesis thingy, <laughs> um, but whatever, I just hit Pass, Outset. So Notice when I did that, it got a little thicker, okay? So we're gonna click it again. If you wanna know where, like how far the offset has extended um, around your original image, you're just gonna go over here to fill in stroke. If you don't see fill in stroke on your screen and you can't find it in the menu, you just wanna press Shift Control F and that's gonna bring it up for you. So I'm just gonna change the fill to no paint and stroke to solid paint here. So when I do that, you can see this really thin outline around my text that shows me how much it's extended that offset. Okay, and so if I like it, then I'll just keep it as it is and change this back to um, flat color on the fill section. Okay, so I just have that layer of the offset. So you can see both images here. I have the one that we started with and I have the offset. You can go ahead and delete the one that you started with because you don't need it. And we're gonna select the offset that we created. We're gonna go to export as and save this to our desktop. Okay, export. So export as, tell you where, you know, that's gonna tell them where you wanna save it and then you hit export. Okay, don't forget to do that two part process. So once I've got this saved to my desktop, I can then go to Cricut Design Space, upload image. You see I already created one earlier that was a little thicker. Um, and then we're just gonna open the offset that we made. Okay. Just like how we would upload any other 
image. And then we're going to also load the original one that we created. Okay. So we've got both of them in here, and we're going to select both of them. Insert images. And then what I like to do is select the offset that I created and change the color to like a yellow or something really bright but where I can see. And then I'm just going to place that original image that we started with and I'm just going to like size it and kind of play with it until it fits within the offset perfectly and I like it and I can make sure that what I did worked. This part can kind of sometimes be tricky for me. Okay, and then I select both of them, align and center. So this looks a little off to me. I'm going to keep messing with it. All right, and that looks good to me. So we've got our original image and we have our outline. Again, I like to select both of them and hit center, and then I'll resize it to, you know, whatever size I want to use on my cup. Um, and then when you go to make it, obviously you're going to have two different mats. You're going to have, you know, one mat for the top color and one mat for the bottom color. And you'd use like, you know, two different color vinyls and then cut it as you would, you know, any other vinyl image with layering. And then um, you'll go ahead and layer them. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on how I do vinyl lettering or vinyl layering with offset images, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys struggle with. Um, I'm happy to provide you with some tips and tricks that I use. Honestly, I typically just eyeball it, <laughs> um, but uh, I do have some tips to help you out with that. So that's about it. Thanks. All right, you guys, so that concludes my video on how to do an outline or an offset around a transparent image with Inkscape and uploading it to Cricut Design Space software. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions at all, you can go ahead and put them down in the comments. I am very active in my comment section. And of course, if you're loving these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you never miss a video. Uh, we will be uploading new content, hopefully every Wednesday and Saturday is the plan. Um, I haven't gotten that quite down yet, but we'll get there. So you're at least going to get two new videos each week. I can at least promise you that. Um, if you want to connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, I'll have those links in the description box as well. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Really appreciate you and I hope to see you again on Saturday. We'll have another new video released then. So you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.